The son of princesses. And we're going to actually activate this shrine right here as a teleport. We're not gonna do the shrine. I think I think we're done with shrines right now. So we did 40. Uh, this would technically be our 46th shrine across our path, but uh, yeah, we're doing 45 out of 40 required. Where's Hestu? This is my main man. Yes, you must dance, my friend. You must give me all the uh, upgrades. <laughs> Let's do the weapons. We need way more slots, my friends. Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> so what's interesting is that even if you do all the upgrades for the weapons with Hestu, uh, there is always going to be one slot untaken. You will no longer, we, you will not be able to upgrade that last slot because that last slot is actually reserved for the Master Sword. So you'll always have that slot empty until you get the Master Sword and then it fills it up. So there's always a slot reserved for that. Ooh, he's getting a little more expensive now. We're going through seeds like crazy. I don't think we're gonna need to use too many bows. I could be wrong. I might do maybe one bow upgrade, but I don't think we're gonna need to use too many bows. It's mainly the weapons and I think some of the shields that we need. could use maybe three more shields because I think we're gonna find some in uh, again uh, Hyrule Castle somewhere oh if it wasn't for the fact that uh, my wife does not want our kids to be video recorded and everything you know face wise um i would love to have show you the dance that they do um <laughs> when hestu dances it is absolutely hilarious or it's great um but uh to protect them of course we don't show their faces just mine um but uh just take my word for it it's hilarious <laughs> Wow, did I not increase the bow size that much? What if it only requires two? So the bow is Farash's colors of courage. Makes sense, because the hero's bow. Um, and the weapons is the color of power, Din. That makes sense, because weapons is power. Um, and then, of course, the defense is Meru, which is protection. So I guess the colors of his maracas, based on uh, which stash you, you choose, make sense to the powers and the colors of the goddesses they represent. So I don't know if anybody's noticed that, but that was that's a little extra detail there. And do you know what? Uh, ooh. We're done. We're done. Thank you. And we can do quite a lot of quests in this area. A lot of crazy, silly quests which befit the Korok theme. Oh man, look at all these mushrooms. So they have their own little store shop here. And of course they have a statue you can pray to. And speaking of statues, this is what I'm talking about. Back to Hatino Village for the shrine. So if I'm going to splice cut anywhere, it's probably going to be right here. 
so you don't have to watch me take all my hearts away and get my all my stamina back. So it was a rough trip. I think we lost, what, three deaths to get to Death Mountain? Yeah. <laughs> Could have gone better. So let's find the statue and make the splice cut. Oh, that's right. This is the DLC activation. I think it's activated as soon as you leave the Lost Woods after getting the, the sword. Glorious trial. <laughs> One of the hardest trials. <sighs> Can I move? Thank you. Okay, so let's go to the let's go to the statue, get back all my stamina. Alright. I'll see you guys in a couple seconds. Hey everybody, and I am back. And as you can see, we have full stamina now uh, and three hearts. So now it's time to warp back to the woods and to uh, pretty much make our way to the castle. There's not much left to do. Now we must exit the Lost Woods, and thankfully there's an easy way to get out of here, on foot that is, and that is the Ogre Tree up here. You have to hop into its mouth. And off it goes, whisks you to the entrance of Lost Woods. Let's work our way. What is the quickest way to get to Hyrule Castle? Uh, let's see here. I probably want that armor on. <laughs> little sprinkle never hurt nobody. There really is a lot to be found in this area. So using the Magnesis rune is very, very beneficial. And I almost want to say there's a nice looking weapon I can get somewhere around here. We're gonna get him. There we go, we got him. There's one chest. Nope. I want to say one of these chests has a weapon, a good one. Well, ice arrows are weapons, so yeah, I'll take that, but that's not what I was thinking of. 
That's a rusty one. Hmm. Did I misremember it? Did I misremember where? Huh. Okay, whatever. I mean, it's not the first time I misremembered things. Oh, hello there. Bye there. Oof. That was something else. There is something in there, I know that. Can I get open my chest, please? Thank you. <laughs> Extra gems to make me rich after I beat Ganon. Rocks are very good aim. Ooh, am I gonna make it? Ra'uru Settlement Ruins, with Ra'uru being the uh, reference to the Sage of Light from Ocarina of Time. I'm gonna go into the drink. I'm gonna go into the drink, and I'm in the drink. And there's another Korok, which I think the metal block is over there. Yep, on that side. We gotta bring it across the river to this side and finish the finish the whole puzzle. Not terribly hard. Okay. We need to work our way across castle now. That's our destination, everybody. The final stop. Can we get there? So before I go any further, before the map and the lower right disappears. We are going to do something here. A little bit of a fun look at our journey. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's a waterfall I can do. Okay, there's Hyrule Castle. Let's look at our map. Hero's Path Mode. Can we play? <laughs> so let's retrace our steps, shall we? And just kind of watch where we were going. Okay. So, so far, we haven't done too much backtracking. Whew. Had a couple deaths there with that Lionel. I remember that. Another death. Huh. It recenters on each death. But it has trouble keeping up otherwise. Okay. Couple backtracking there, not too bad. <laughs> Whoa, that was a crazy and then of course we went all crazy in there in the Hyrule Castle area. Yep. Oh my goodness. Yep, went there, went there. And that was our travel. That is the entire route we traveled all the way through with very minimal backtracking. All said and done. So we skipped quite a few areas, like most of the wasteland and ocean area and of course all of Hebra, most of Hebra area, but uh, yeah, 
Now time to get serious.